Destiny late for being early. Talk about finishing strong. Early voting was off to a slow start, but it really ramped up on the last day with voters hoping to beat the lines on Election Day. I knew it was open. I kind of forgot and I was like, oh shoot, today's the last day. Let me hurry up and go. They close at six, so I made it here before six. Katrina Holland votes early in every election. She always wants to dodge the lines on Election Day. For this city election, she managed to be one of the last early voters. A title supervisor of elections, Mike Hogan, says quite a few voters hold, as last minute was a popular time to early vote. The first 11 days, we averaged about 400 per hour. In the last two days preceding uh, today, it averaged 700 per hour. And today we're averaging a little over 1,400 people an hour. Hogan is optimistic that with another 90 to 100,000 voters on Election Day, they'll be right around the 30% turnout they were projecting. That's if those voters make sure they head to the right precinct. We've had to do two different redistrictings. That meant that more uh, people uh, are in new districts than ever before. It always happens in a redistricting year, but ours was different than anybody else's because we had to do it twice because of a lawsuit. Although the 30% or so turnout in city elections pales in comparison to the 75% turnout we see when a president is on the ballot, Holland made sure not to miss it. I vote in every election just so that my voice could be heard. Um, everybody votes count, so I just want to make my vote matter. Alrighty, so now that early voting is done, we're looking ahead to Election Day. That's Tuesday from 7 until 7, and all registered voters need to do is have a photo ID with them handy. You do have to vote at your assigned precinct, so check out our First Coast News Voter Guide on our website to make sure you get to the right place. In the studio, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.